Welcome to Tabletop Tactics, coming up on today's show. Welcome back to Tabletop Tactics. It's me, the Beard, and today I am joined by the Norn Queen herself. It is Katie. Hello. Hello to you. It's me. Fantastic. I'm Katie. It's lovely to have you here yes. today. Lovely to have all of you here today as we embark into a new series here on the channel where we discover which are the best Warhammer 40,000 factions in existence. And today we begin with your favorites. It's the Tyranids. Yeah, I was going to say, I could answer that question very quickly for you already. It's, it's the Tyranids. It's the Tyranids. It's the Tyranids. You already knew. Yeah. I mean, there's a bit of a, there's a, bit of a spoiler <laughs> alert here. I wonder what we're going to be talking yeah. about today. Ah, look at these lovely things left on the table. Um, so, yes, in this series, we're going to be going through all of our individual factions and discovering which one is indeed the best. Maybe they are all the best. Maybe that's how this series will go. Uh, but we start off as we mean to go on with, uh, with your favorite army. Yeah. So what is it about these Tyranids that you love so much? Why are they, why are they so good? I mean, look at them. Yeah, they're pretty they, cool. They look really cool. Yeah. Uh, I definitely am of the opinion of what's the point in playing like a far flung into the future sci-fi game if you're not gonna pick the aliens. And well, if yeah. you wanna go for aliens, there's nothing more alien than the Tyranids. Yeah, they I mean. They are the most different. <laughs> they're, they're, they're classic, classic oh, yeah. aliens. They are mean, uh, human eating bugs from another world. Hey, they don't just eat humans. Oh, okay. They eat everything. They're indiscriminate. Okay. Yeah, well, that's good. Not yeah, not 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 too picky with what they eat. No. No. No, not at all. But there's nothing like the tyranids. That is true. Everything else has stuff that's kind of similar to it, mm. or like it's a standard thing. The tyranids are just really cool looking. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there, there's there's loads of little griblies, there's yeah. massive, enormous bugs, they've got all this psychic ability. Um, Anything you could possibly want. Yeah, and they're quite cinematic, I think. Yeah, they look really cool. Yeah, in the way that you can just have swarms yeah. coming towards your enemy, gobbling everything up. I get it. You add that to, like, the thing of they're controlled by a hive mind. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah. It's really fun when you're playing them. Because you, you do, you are the hive mind. You are the hive mind. You are controlling the bugs. Yeah, you, you keep all the synapse creatures in check. Yeah. You move everything around with your big brain. Ow, that's good. <laughs> big brain. You did that with your hive mind, didn't I you? I did. This is, this is proof that, that the hive mind works. Um, my first wound has been taken on my hand. Very good, okay, very nice. So, so tell me about how you specifically found yourself um, engaged with these uh, with these bugs from another galaxy. Well, they made it official. They proposed. Okay. <laughs> so now I am engaged. Oh, that's cute. Sorry, that was bad. I was kind of pushed into Tyranids. Mm -hmm. So when I started playing, I was encouraged to play by my partner who wanted someone to play with her because sure. she had no one okay and she had a spec on effects going mm -hmm. so <laughs> <laughs> was, she, was she subtle about it she sort of left it left it on on the oh, chair no, she was like please can you play this uh, can, can you paint this for me and, and oh. make it look nice so. okay so roped you in and yeah. then got, got got her to paint got you to paint her models yeah hmm. and she still does sounds pretty smart <laughs> <laughs> but it started with the con effects yeah fell in love with it mm -hmm. Fell in love with all of the Tyranids. Mm -hmm. It's been an addiction that I've been feeding ever since. Feeding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Quite apt. And where are you at now? Like you've, you had your kind effects initially. Yep. How, how, how has the hive mind evolved? I've actually done a list of everything I've had at the moment. Let's see if I've got it off the top of my head. So I've got a swarm lord. Mm -hmm. I've got a hive tyrant. Mm -hmm. I've got a brood lord. Lots of lords in there. Yep. Um, I've got. Trigon, um, I like the big things. Yeah, yeah. big scary bugs. The big scary bugs, three mm -hmm. carnifexes. Yep. I like them. Yeah. I think they're really cool. Well, you have to have the brood. Right? You can't be going out there solo. No, uh, a, a whole bunch of smaller things. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, it's just growing yeah. immensely yeah. and insanely. I, I feel like they're the kind of army that you start off with and then you can just expand it over and over oh, and over again. there is no end. Yeah. I've still not got enough of everything. Yeah. And it's it's getting quite a big collection. Yeah. 
I mean, if, they, if you're going for the whole interplanetary annihilation vibe, yeah. you kind of need a big army, don't you? Oh, and it's kind of like with the Tyranids, I feel like every time you win, you should just add more models to mm. your army because they've just acquired more biomass. Yeah. So you creating more. Okay. And with the hobby in mind, do you find they're quite enjoyable to paint en masse? Like, do you feel like the model range is different enough to keep you engaged? The model range, definitely the big bugs mm -hmm. are really fun to paint. Yeah. Um, really get a lot of enjoyment out of that. It's when you start painting the small bugs, it does get a bit tedious. Yeah. Um, I hear about people who have like hundreds of gaunts and I just think, how could you sit there and paint them? That's the only thing problem I have with Tyranids actually. It's just so tedious to sit there and paint these lines Yeah. on bugs over and over and over and over again. I guess like one part of, of, a, of collecting Tyranids is that you come up with that initial colour scheme. Yes. And I, I imagine that a lot of people go in there wanting to make this really elaborate thing with loads of different like markings and stuff mm -hmm. and uh, like doing the carapace one colour and everything else another colour, putting on like gloopy bits or whatever <laughs> and then you do that one and, and then, then you look, everything else has to be the same. And then you look at all the boxes you've bought and yeah. you think no. See, I made the mistake of going with the Leviathan paint scheme, okay. which is the white skin purple carapace, mm -hmm. but it's white skin. White. White. Nice. It's, <laughs> and I paint it white, white. Like it is bright, clean. It takes me so long a to do. A glutton for punishment. <laughs> oh, I really am. Mm. Um, I have a Trigon that I painted and that's like probably the, one of the best models I've ever painted. The white on that is just really clean. Yeah. I, I think I did. 10 layers of white on that. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of white. It is a lot. But you do all the white, you see the army finished. How does it make you feel? Does it look oh. good? Amazing. Yeah. They look so good together. Yeah. Just all the different bugs are, they're just so different, mm -hmm. but so cohesive at the same time. Mm. I look, when you get a swarm on a field, it looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the best feelings ever. And I guess as well, like if you're playing larger games, like if you're doing yeah. Apocalypse, even better, right? I would assume so. Yeah. I'm well, not... I'm, sh I'm sure we'll find out about yes. that. Yes. We'll, we'll do a big Tyranids game soon. All right, yes, cool. we have to. So what's your, what's your, what's your play style with the Tyranids? Like, obviously, this is a, 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 one of the older codexes mm -hmm. um, that exist at the moment. Yeah. Um, how do you find... What, what, what's, like, your preferred way of playing the Tyranids? So I've always wanted to play Tyranids the way I felt like they should be played, mm -hmm. which is really aggressive, like just moving really fast, getting up into your opponent's face yeah. and just eating them. Like I love units, like I love the Swarm Lord, I love the Gene Stealers, Brood Lord. I love using those units mm. and just trying to move fast. You can't really do that yeah. um, with the Tyranids. A couple of reasons, they're really squishy. Mm -hmm. So you throw them up first turn, they're then dead second turn and yes. you've got no units. Yeah. Uh, so you either just don't take those mm -hmm. and take something else or you, like Eugene Steelers, I found that I often just keep them hidden in either like a back objective, just staying there to do stuff later in the game or for just sitting in a corner for engage. Yeah. Uh, which is a bit of a shame because they're really cool units. Uh, you kind of do have to play it as a shooting army. Yeah. Which is fine. It's And it's still really enjoyable to play it like that. But... It's not how I personally would play Tyranids. Mm. I feel like they would make more, a lot more sense as a kind of really close combat specialist army. Yeah. So you're a little bit limited with the way the yeah. book is making you play at the moment. Yeah. We've already established that Tyranids are the best 40k faction oh, absolutely. that there is. Yeah. So in an ideal world, if we had a new codex, mm -hmm. which, will be, which will be coming eventually. At some point. What would it look like? What, what, is, your, what is your like dream thing for the Tyranids with their new book? They've got to get less squishy. Mm -hmm. They've got to be able to stick around. I mean, even the big monsters they don't have a lot of sticking power, like the Exocrine. If, if something can get into the Exocrine, it's, it's dead. Yes. It's not, they've not got the best lasting power. Mm -hmm. And equally, I want the close combat units to be more scary and more survivable mm. and to actually be able to take the Tyranids as a close combat army, mm. or at least more options of how sure. you can play it rather than kind of being limited. Yeah, I think options is the thing that yeah. there's de definitely a lack of yeah. with the Tyranids at the moment. They have become a very shooty army. Um, when you've got units like the Swarm Lord or yeah. Flying Hive Tyrants and things like that, they should be terrifying yeah. on the tabletop. They should be so they yeah. should be as scary as they look and as scary as they are in the in, law. In, in the law, exactly. Um, you, you don't imagine them to die immediately. Yes. <laughs> or you, you'd imagine if you if you're sort of in if you're if you put yourself on the tabletop and you're the guardsman there facing you 
fight. Exactly. You're not going to be a like, oh no, here enemy. it comes. Oh no, it's dead. Don't worry. Guys, it's, we're good. We're done. It's, it's already dead. The alien Everything incursion is, dead. is over. What happens? They seem to have got some kind of cold and now they're not here anymore. Yeah. They, they should be terrified. They just collapsed and died. What should be happening is that that same trooper is there and then his head gets bitten off. Exactly. Right? Can maximum consumption. Yes. So everything gets eaten. Tyranids obliterate every other faction. Yes. I'm happy. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Well, yeah, I think um, that that's that's something we've seen with the with the more recent codexes. Is, is yeah. there are more ways of running factions, and I think that would be a, a definitely a welcome change for the Tyranids. Um, that like the, the psychic potential should be like it is in the lore. I think. Yeah. Um, they have the shadow in the warp. Um, yeah. That that should be far more prevalent. I think. Um, yeah. It's it, there, there, there's definite things that can be done to make him a bit more a bit more scary. I think. Yeah, they're currently kind of cuddly. Yes. Fun. I want them to be terrifying. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up in a second, but I'd like to discover just a little bit more mm -hmm. about your love for the Tyranids. So I would like to know your top three favourite Tyranid units. Yeah, my top three. What do you love the most? I love all of them! Well, you have to choose. <laughs> Everyone has a favourite child, so you have to have three okay. favourite units. So I'll go, I'll go three to one. So least to most favorite in terms oh, of it, my top, a top three. three. I'll do okay. a top, I'll do a top right, three. Cool. If we're just thinking about my favorites mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. being completely biased for whatever reasons I decide, I'll go with my number three being Swarm Lord. Nice. Oh, he's just classic. And I love the way he tears things up in, in close combat. Yes. And like I said, I really like, would like to play a close combat tier in the army. Yeah. And that Swarm Lord's just, he could do that. He does that so nicely. One of the classic models that does not is not represented well in the rules yeah. on the tabletop yeah. compared to the look of the model. It's a yeah. shame, but I can see why it's one of your favorites. He's cool. Tell me, tell me number two. Number two, Gene Steelers. Gene Steelers. Gene Steelers. Classic. Again, El Clasico there. Again, I think they fit into the play style I would want, mm -hmm. which is the close combat. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that they should be a lot scarier than they are. They used to be a lot scarier. I mean, well, they're, they're okay. Yeah. They're pretty good. They sort of get stuff done yeah. uh, as they're they are just, at the moment. but They're just a little bit, again, just need, squishy. Just need a bit more. Need a Dang. bit more. Okay. What's number one? Number What's one. number one? Are you ready? I'm ready. Little drum roll. Carnifex. A Carnifex. It's gotta be the Carnifexes. They're so cool. It's the first model, first model I ever painted. Yeah. They'll hold a soft spot in my heart forever. They're not the best, and I've just gone and bought, well, I went and bought and painted up two more because I just like them. Yeah. Like, they're just nice. They're just cool units. It's the way to do it. Yeah. Like, they, we, they bash into things. Yeah. It's awesome. Exactly. And you, you, you should collect whatever it is you want to collect. If you love the kind of effects, Indeed. doesn't matter how they do on the, on the tabletop, unless you're playing competitively. Uh, <laughs> but if you love them, then that's good. Yeah, I do love them. Good. And speaking of competitive, what would be your number one competitive pick in terms of what do you feel like is like the best unit available in Tyranids right now? I mean, I don't know about best because okay. I do not have a lot of competitive experience. Sure. But I know from the experience I do have, mm. I love the Hive Guard. The Hive Guard. I was actually a bit of a naughty Tyranids player. I only recently started playing with Hive Guard. Okay. Um, I think about a month ago I got my own Hive Guard, mm -hmm. and then we played a game. I had had a couple. Yes. They were very effective. Yes. They can do, they, they do so much more than just shooting out, you know, ignoring line of sight. Mm. They sit back, they hold points, mm -hmm. they screen things out. They're just really powerful. Yeah. You kind of have to take them. They're a massive nuisance. They're, they're, <laughs> they're very, very, <laughs> very difficult to play against. Yes. Um, you've got enough to worry about, let alone yeah. back lines, well, I mean, you have to guard. deal with them. Otherwise they're just, free shots at you every turn yeah and if you don't deal with them they're free shots then you're dead turn. yeah if you do deal with them everything else is running free yeah yeah doing whatever the hell it wants yeah they're good okay yeah. excellent well we're going to we're going to go down the old uh, competitive highways and byways with the tyranids as we continue your journey with us here at table tactics yes. i understand that um <laughs> you are going to be uh put through the ringer by a certain mr spider-man yes um, and he's going to show you the ways. Yes, and then I will consume all of the biomass for the glory of the hive mind and just grow stronger and 
bigger so I can eat more things and then I will win everything all of the time. Okay. Terrifying. Well, you've heard it here first. Well, thank you. It's been very nice to, to get an understanding of your love for the Tyranids. It sounds like maybe they are the best 40k faction out there. Oh, they are. Um, they are? They are. They are. There you go. Confirmed. <laughs> uh, but we will be back very soon for another episode um, to find out who else may or may not be the best 40k faction. I've been The Beard. This has been Katie. Thank Bye. you for being here Bye. today. We'll see you next time. So um, in this new series, uh, we are discovering which are the best Forehammer, Forehammer, Warhammer. Let's start this again. <laughs> <laughs>